So I had um, this comment from a client that I'm working with recently um, in regards to his counter control where he'd sit up in bed and he would look at photographs in order to help him fall back to sleep again. And he said, well, I did that last night and it didn't work. Is there anything else you can teach me that I can do in the middle of the night that will work? And this kind of, you've really got to analyze the questions that you are asking and what they mean so just in the nature of the question it kind of shows me that that real realization and understanding of what sleep is haven't quite clicked with them yet so there is nothing that you can do that will work the only thing that you can do is increase the likelihood of sleep happening. So you can get up at the same time every day, you can go to bed when you're sleeping, you can reduce your sleep opportunity, you can get stuck into your days, get bright light first thing, you can exercise during the day, you can do things during the day to have a really good quality day to bring you out of that really anxious, stressful place. But there's absolutely nothing you can do in the short term to force sleep to come. And I know I kind of do repeat it but when it really clicks when you get that aha i really understand that's when the magic happens and i was so just the nature of the questions that didn't work the photos didn't work what will work shows that they were trying to use this thing to force sleep to come Really, the whole point of counter control, the whole point of stimulus control isn't to create sleep in the short term. It's just to bring you out of rumination. It's just to bring you out of anxiety. It's just so that you're not lying there getting cross and annoyed because all I want for you when you're in bed is to be in bed just as happy awake as you are asleep. So if you're in bed and you're watching Netflix and you're not using the Netflix to force yourself back to sleep. That is you in bed just as happy awake as you are asleep. And so please do kind of, when you ever get questions like this, really delve deep into the nature of your question that you're asking and having to think whether or not it's showing that you've kind of got that deep understanding of what insomnia is, but it's that natural process. It cannot be forced, it cannot be controlled. You can only increase the likelihood, but there's nothing you can do to make sleep happen. And I'll repeat it again, but that is the essence of what, what sleep is and you can't it takes so long to kind of get there i i it took me ages to get there but eventually it tweaked and then i stopped and then i stopped using things and then i started sleeping and then i started letting go so repetition 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 a thousand kicks of uh, one kick a thousand times i'm hoping it's starting to click <laughs> so it is, that's really good all right uh, please comment on this video so it gets pushed to the algorithm algorithm and thank you very much for all the wonderful people that are watching this channel i really do appreciate every single one of you